Hello everybody, this is Jim from the Handheld Gaming Community. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing to you a review of a, another uh, Nintendo Switch case. Uh, today's case I'm going to be reviewing is the Bionic Commuter case. Uh, and just like with my other case reviews, my, my goal of today's review is just simply to, to show you this case, uh, kind of give you an overview of it, show you all the components, um, give you maybe my thoughts on it, what I, what I liked about it, what I found valuable. And then ultimately, at the end, my goal is just to give you enough information to where you can decide if it's a case that you would want to want to purchase for your Switch. So, that said, this is the Bionic Commuter case for the Nintendo Switch. Um, the first thing I noticed is just the overall look. Very sharp looking case. Um, a lot of it uses this, this kind of checkered, textured nylon here. Um, I think that's coming across in my camera shot here. Um, so, it, so it alternates between this, this checkered, um, uh, textured nylon and kind of a, kind of a matte, kind of a matte, uh, not shiny nylon as well. And so it creates a really nice look, just that kind of that, that contrast of those two materials. Um, as you notice here, I'll give you kind of an overview of the outside the exterior first. Uh, number one on this front side here, um, we've got this shiny bionic logo, which again, against that textured nylon looks really nice. Um, loop for your shoulder strap. We'll talk about that in a minute. <clears throat> On this back side here, we've got the low-profile Nintendo Switch logo. Um, that is one thing I really like about this case is that it doesn't it doesn't advertise. You, you know, you've got a Nintendo Switch in this case. Yeah, I mean, it has it right there, but it's not, you know, there's not a big, not a big obvious Nintendo logo on there, which which I kind of like. Um, uh, we've got the the orange zipper pull here, which against a very dark case makes for a nice look. On this side here, we've got uh, the the zippers to open the compartments, and you'll notice all of these zippers have the Bionic logo in this uh, nylon strip. Again, nice look. On top, we've got this uh, cushioned handle here, um, which at first I thought might, might have been a little bit, a little bit overkill. Um, it's really comfortable, and I think they I think Bionic did a really nice job uh, yeah, determining how much cushion to have there. It's a really comfortable handle. Uh, <clears throat> so that's the overview of the exterior. Let's start getting into the interior and talk about how, how this case could be used. Um, so first thing I did when I opened it, I opened this compartment, looked here, and I discovered a shoulder strap here. You'll notice the shoulder strap is, is in that same material design, that checked nylon, um, with the shiny bionic logo as i flip it this uh, is kind of a it's kind of a, a felt velvet material which is nice because it keeps the shoulder strap uh, it keeps the shoulder on your on your shoulder uh, sorry let me try that again it keeps the strap on your shoulder so it doesn't slip and fall off um, it doesn't slip front to back and it doesn't fall off to the side kind of nice um, this compartment uh, is it's, it's pretty short. It's only about three inches tall. It's about 10 inches wide um, and it's, and it's pretty shallow. There's, there's not a lot of, not a lot of room front to back. <clears throat> um, what I would use this for, I think the, the design intention was that this would have been used for maybe a pair of earbuds, um, possibly your, your Joy-Con straps. Um, I wouldn't put a Joy-Con or two in there just because there's not a lot of protection right there. Um, so something that you, oh, maybe a maybe a, a slim cartridge case or two could go in there. Um, not a lot of room here. What I used this for was for actually the shoulder strap. When I'm not using it on my shoulder, I'll fold that up, stick it in there, and then just carry it like this. So speaking of carrying, let's go to this side. This is kind of a cool selling point with this case too, you guys. So you can carry it on your shoulder when you attach the strap, right? You can carry it by the handle. Nice, like many cases. Um, you can unzip this little flap here, and then you can take you can take your case, you can put it on top of a um, existing strap. Let's say you have a backpack, or you have a duffel bag, or a, sh uh, a messenger bag, that kind of thing. This can go on top of that strap, and then you can zip it up, and you can essentially wear your commuter bag on top of your backpack. Your backpack holds your commuter bag. It's a really cool feature. So this this can be kind of on the on the front of you when you're wearing your backpack. Really nice. Um, it's just cool that Bionic uh, was so intentional about giving you that flexibility of how you want to wear this case. So anyway, that's really cool. 
All right, so as we look at the interior of this case, this case has two main compartments. I'm going to, let's see, am I gonna start with the, yep, good. Um, I wanna start with this compartment. So this compartment, uh, this is the this is the compartment. Ah, yeah, my apologies, guys. I'm not going to be able to get a really good shot in here. This is the compartment that holds your holds your switch itself. Um, I don't know if you can see this from this angle. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Um, so if you'll notice, if you're able to see uh, this compartment right here, um, the switch goes in screen facing this way. Um, and there's an extra little cushion right in the middle. That's nice for two reasons. Number one, that puts that extra cushion here. Uh, on top of the screen of your switch, at it, which gives you a little additional protection. That's nice. But then also, to the left and right of that, of that cushion, there's a little bit more vertical space this way, um, which gives your joysticks a little bit more cushion this way. So there's not as much pressure being put down on your joysticks here and here. Um, at the same time, it's providing protection for your screen. Win-win. It protects your switch without mashing down those joysticks. Really nice. Another nice feature about this case, you guys, is that I am able to put, um, I was able to put my switch in here with a Skull & Co. grip case, even with the max grips, the, the thickest grips, fits no problem. So you can have your Skull & Co. Skull & Co. grip case and put it in here without having to take the case off. That's really nice. That, for me, that's like the ideal, it's like the ideal combination. So that's compartment number one. Compartment number two is right here. Now, here we go. <clears throat> Notice here, you guys, the first thing I want to show you, right here, we've got uh, spots for five cartridges, spots for five cartridges, spots for four cartridges, spots for four cartridges. This case holds 18 Nintendo Switch cartridges. That's enormous for a case this, this little to hold 18 uh, Nintendo Switch cartridges. That's crazy. And that's something that I, I you don't see that a lot in, in these small messenger type uh, cases for the Switch. So anyway, it holds uh, 18 game cartridges. Um, backing the, uh, lining both sides of this, uh, it's kind of this 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 really soft, like like felt material, um, which is great. I mean, it, it looks nice, it's very luxurious. Um, it also won't scratch anything up. You could slide your cartridges in there and not worry at all about them uh, getting scratched. So that's nice. Um, in addition to that, we've got this little Vel Velcro strap here where you can open it and close it. Um, uh, I have not, I haven't used it. Uh, I was trying to think of what the what the in, the design intention was for that, and all I can think of is um, you could wind up a you could wind up a, a, a cord and stick it in there. Um, it might work for an extra set of earbuds if you wanted to wind it up there. You could put a Joy-Con right there. Um, I wouldn't, but but I suppose you could. Um, so I'm not I'm not sure what uh, Bionic was going for with this, but that's not something I used. This little pouch right here, however, if you wanted to, um, you could again do a number of things with it. Um, you would you would easily be able to put two Joy Cons here if you wanted to have a couple of extra Joy Cons just for some flexibility and play. Um, or you could put earbuds in there. You could put, um, gosh, I you name it. Um, but it's a little little flexible pouch here. Um, one last thing I wanted to just uh, bring to your attention as I was using this case just you know daily, um, I, uh, I, I found that I was able to take my power cord and put it right here, wrap the cord over here. So for me, I was able to fit my charging cable in here too. So as far as a, a functional travel case, um, where you could actually use your switch you know on, on an extended trip, this case would work. Um, you could put everything you need to to go on a trip and use this case. Um, so it, it really is a fantastic little case. So guys, I think that's all I've got for this review. I hope what, I hope it was informative. Hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something. Um, if you have questions about anything I've covered today, or if there's anything you want to, if you'd want to add your own experience with this case, um, or offer any insight, um, feel free to comment down below. Feel free to go to our uh, handheld gaming community Facebook group and uh, comment there. I will include all the links in the uh, bottom of this video. Um, I, I will also include a link to Bionic's webpage so that you are able to order this awesome case if you are interested. Um, and I think with that, I will sign off. I hope this review was helpful and uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you.